Hi everyone, it's Kong here. Uh, today we are going to take a look at Zyke, the son of Satan. Um, he is a, a designer figure from one of my favorite designers, JT Studio. Um, they are not based on any existing IP, but there is a lot of lore and just story that was created specifically for him, just to give him a, a nice background. If you are interested in seeing an unboxing video, I know that JT Studio has a very nice one. Uh, made on his either his Facebook or his Instagram. So please head over there to check him out All right, so this is Zyke out of the box um, All I have to say is that this guy is incredible um, I, I would give you guys a first impression, but <laughs> I've had this figure for about a year now um, And I, I just absolutely love it um Without me going into, you know, talking too much, let's go ahead and tackle the articulations right away. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off his little hood. Uh, this comes right off like that. Um, you, can, you can tighten it on the back here because of the, the lace. Uh, so you can tighten it if you want to, or you can unzip it like that and have it pulled down like a, almost like a hoodie. Um, but we'll, we'll take a look at that later. All right, so this is the figure. The paint quality is incredible. Um, the arms come up to right about there, both of them. The elbow joints, it is a double jointed elbow. So it comes up to right about there. Look at that, freaking incredible. There is an ab crunch, comes down to right about that far, and it goes back about that much. The, the hips or the weight, the, the crotch area is a separate piece, so that does allow for some, some additional range in you know how far he can bend over or bend backwards. However, you do wanna be very careful with that um, I've had at least two JT Studio figures now that have broken, that that have, yeah, broken at the um, the the ab, the, the torso area. So just be very careful with that. The legs come up to right about there, but unfortunately, unfortunately, it's not able to go back very much because of the design. The butt cheeks prevent the leg from going any further back. So. Uh, that is unfortunate. However, it's not too bad because the ab crunch, the, the, the torso or the waist and the knees all allow him to really go very far back. So it's not, it's not too bad. You know, it's not, it's not a big deal. The knees, much like the elbows are also double jointed. They go up to right about there. And the ankle joints, oh, actually, I just dislocated mine. Just pop it back in place like that. And then the ankle is on a double ball peg, which allows for an incredible range of possibility. There you go. So overall, this figure is highly articulate. Even the tail, the tail is a, um, there's a wire in the tail. My only complaint, and I, I don't have too many about this figure, but my only complaint is that the tail is not pegged into the butt. I would have liked it to, but you'll see here that the tail is actually just stitched on by a single thread. So be very careful with how you pose your tail. I would imagine that it, it would be an easy fix if that was to rip off, or I mean, I think it would be, but you know, I mean, I, I, I would rather not have to do that. The shirt, it has Zyke and the, his number on the back, his name there again. And the, the printing on this detail is amazing. Let me see if I can pull it up here. So you can see right here that 
it's super crisp, super clean. Even the face, there's also this nice weathering effect that is applied to all throughout his face. Maybe a little too much right there. I, I don't have anything bad to say about this figure, except that it, it's awesome. All of the pockets are functional, like this one right here. You can unzip it or zip it back up. No, well, actually, looks like my zipper, something's wrong with my zipper. It's not, it stopped halfway there. I could probably, oh, there we go. Pull it apart and then just zip it back up like that. Look at that. Sip it back up. My guess is that um, it has been sitting in storage for a little bit. So um, my guess is that they probably just stuck together. So some more weathering effect on the knee pads. So the thing with the knee pads is that they are a separate piece. They're not sculpted onto the body and they're just on with these straps. So if you want to take them off, you can definitely do so as well. He has these pretty nice looking shoes. They, they look like Chucks or a redesign of Chucks. And he comes with a few accessories. So let me just make him look nice over here. So the figure does come with this hairpiece, or I mean, I think he's supposed to have this hairpiece, but I don't know. I, I like the buzz cut look a little more, um, but you can actually just put it right on top. Just like that. And looks like it's, it's being held in place by a magnet. So if you like that look, you can definitely, uh, you know, leave that on. But you do have to take it off if you want to put his hood on. He also comes with uh, a demon mask. Uh, it looks a lot more like a, um, a painter's mask, you know, with the, um, the filters on the side there. So it looks like it's a mix of both. Looks very cool. Put that on in a bit. Comes with this giant backpack and a nitrogen tank. Yep. So they're actually separated, but you can put it into these, uh, you can strap it onto the backpack like this. Comes with his baseball club, which is also a sword. Just pull it out like so when you put this back in though do be very careful because there is a specific way that you have to put it back in just look at the opening and make sure that the sword fits just like that it has a very nice skull chain here i don't believe that you can attach this onto the backpack but I do so anyways, just to have an, a nicer, cleaner look. I'll show you how I do that in a little bit. Comes with two spray cans. I haven't even taken these out really. But you can put these onto this strap, this waist strap. I, I took it off just because it is a little stiff. So it makes him look wider than he actually is. Take it off, but you know, if you, you can leave it on him or you can probably even put it over the shoulder like that. So let's put this aside. Comes with, oh, actually, I'm sorry. He came, he comes with four spray cans. Yeah, I must've missed these two. And then it comes with one pair of extra hands to hold the spray cans. Um, he comes with, there are also these two plastic pieces that hold the, his, um, his motor skateboard onto the stand. 
I'll demonstrate to you how that's done in a little bit. And then here's the tubing for the nitrogen tank. That's it. Other than the most obvious one, which is his skateboard or motor, motorized skateboard, whatever you want to call it. So let's just move all of this out of the way and take a look at this baby right here. Uh, again, the paint is is phenomenal on this guy. The the detail is amazing. Look, it has this this brush, this metal brush look, and some oxidizing effects, some dry brushing, um, and I, it folds like this. And my guess is probably just for to be able to do uh, more posing with it. All right, so here is the display stand. Um, it has this very nice rubber tire all around the stand. Um, and it comes with this awesome magnetic brush metal plate uh, that's numbered. Uh, as you can see, mine is number 366 out of 399. So super, super limited run. And that's kind of one of the appeals of these designer figures is that there's not a lot. So if you're able to get your hands on one of them, you know, definitely do it. All right, so then let's go ahead and put all of his accessories on and let's get him onto his bike. All right, so here he is with all of his accessories attached and on his motorized skateboard. Another thing that I do wish is that the, the stand comes with a, an articulated arm as opposed to a piece of glass. Because again, again, like I said earlier, this figure, the body of this figure is highly articulated. So it's unfortunate that you're not really able to achieve these dynamic poses with the given uh, plastic acrylic arm. Overall, like I said before, this figure is amazing. I, I cannot praise it enough. I hope that you guys found this review somewhat helpful. I, I try to be as informative as possible. <laughs> Um, I, I really just wanted, like, like I said, I've had this figure for about a year now and I really just wanted to do sort of a retro review to, you know, maybe inform those who, who don't know about this line and those who do know, you know, maybe get you guys excited for the next release, Koza, who will be shipping out sometime, I believe either this month or, or next month. If there's something that I didn't cover that you would like me to go over, definitely let me know in the comment section below or send me a message. So until next time, bye-bye.